Well, hello. I'm Wendy Burton, a GP from Brisbane, Australia, and I'd like to talk to you today about influenza immunisation during pregnancy. But to start with, I actually need to talk to you about the difference between influenza and the flu. Now, to a health professional, in fact, there is no difference. Influenza is the flu. But we Aussies, <laughs> we call everything the flu. So if you've got a head cold, huh, it's the flu. If you've had dodgy leftovers, it's the flu. If you've got a headache or a hangover, oh, it's the flu, except it's not. Influenza, should you get that particular infection, oh, you will know, because influenza is a very specific infection. And its symptoms run like this. You get a sudden onset of high temperature, sore throat, dry cough, muscle aches and pains, headache and fatigue. You feel like you've been run over by a truck. You were fine in the morning as you set off for work and boom, that's it, it's all over by lunchtime. You are so sick, you probably even feel too sick to go to the doctors. There's no way you can take medication and soldier on, it's just not gonna happen. Influenza will hit you hard, it can take a good seven to 10 days to recover, and you are at high risk of complications, including infections such as pneumonia. In Australia, each year, up to three and a half thousand people die from influenza or its complications, and up to 15 children a year lose their life. This compares to about 1,200 on the roads and to a total of 11 infant deaths over 10 years from pertussis or whooping cough. So influenza, it's really very important as an infection. The other thing to know about influenza and vaccination is that the influenza vaccine is not a live vaccine. It can't actually give you the flu, but it certainly can sometimes make you feel a little bit achy or headachy. And because we Aussies call everything the flu, often time I've heard it said, oh, the flu shot gave me the flu. To which I'll reply, oh, you had sudden onset high temperature, sore throat, dry cough, muscle aches and pains, headache and fatigue, which wasn't what happened. And so if you are incubating influenza at the time of your vaccine, the vaccine's not fast enough to stop you from getting it, but it won't actually cause the flu itself. Now, why does influenza or why does the flu matter during pregnancy? Well, it matters because it's a severe infection. It matters because you certainly don't need to feel rubbish for seven to 10 days. But it matters because influenza is one of the few infections during pregnancy that can turn particularly nasty. When a woman is pregnant, there is some modification to her immune system response. This is very important because half of the DNA of the baby who's growing inside of her is not hers. And actually by rights, her body should reject that baby, but it doesn't. And in modifying the immune system response, this also means that there are some infections that can be particularly wicked in women. And influenza and chickenpox are two classic infections. So the further along a woman is in pregnancy, especially the second half of pregnancy, if she has conditions such as asthma or other lung problems, or if she's a smoker, influenza can hit particularly hard. And unfortunately, we end up with quite a number of pregnant women, not just hospitalized, but in intensive care every year. Influenza kills pregnant women and it kills their babies. So having the influenza vaccination during pregnancy helps to protect you. By protecting you, it helps to protect your baby. And babies whose mothers had the influenza vaccine during pregnancy have around a 50% reduction in the incidence of influenza in the first six months of their life. This is particularly important because the influenza vaccine doesn't work in that age group. And so we can't start immunizing for influenza until babies are six months of age. So having protection from mum is really very important. As far as side effects and safety go, the influenza vaccine has been extensively studied. It's very safe. It's very well tolerated. Yes, it's a needle. Yes, it has a sting. Yes, you may have a sore arm and you may feel achy and headachy for a couple of days. But this is minor and only affects a few. 
the benefits from the influence of vaccine, especially in high risk groups such as pregnant women, have been well established. So in summary, the influenza vaccine, which is recommended for all women during their pregnancy, is safe, effective, well tolerated. It provides protection for mum. By protecting mum, it provides protection for the unborn baby. It continues to protect that baby for the first six months or more of their life. And in addition, the antibodies that mum has circulating in her system are also transmitted through her breast milk. So please, when your doctor or midwife recommends an influenza vaccine in pregnancy, please know that it is safe, well tolerated, and it's a really good idea. Thank you.